Ready to fire. A, a down safety, safety number, number two. two. Fire! Get up, fucking load, 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 load. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Hell Let Loose dev video update. For many people itching to get their hands on Hell Let Loose and their boots on the ground, the wait feels overly long. I feel that too, and even as a tester, the wait has been long between testing phases, but I know what the devs are wanting to achieve. The best, most gritty World War II tactical shooter out there. Big words I know, but I genuinely do feel that target will be hit, and we will all be enjoying this title immensely. The road is still long, but we do have glimmers of light on the horizon, which brings us nicely to the recent developer update. Dev Blog 8 and Saint Marie Dumont. One of the first things they mention is weapon audio. Troop density and bug fixes have all been recognised from testing feedback. I personally felt the M1 Grand sounded fantastic in game. LMGs, on the other hand, sounded weak, and they had no bottom end to them. I really do wish they were a mix of squad audio and escape from Tarkov audio-wise, because audio really can make or break a game, and it adds immensely to the immersion. I really want to do feel that some of these weapons are powerful, and they are in fact killing machines, and not just BB air guns. The Dumont map was brilliant. It genuinely felt like we were there, imagining real troops being in that location, a feeling of historic accuracy was unsurpassed. The developers appear to have added even more polish, assets and updates with what looks like downed gliders. Downed gliders on the field man, I'm excited, get the old paras in there. All of the strong points on the map have been updated with more cover and added elements to add immersion. Think of a strong point as a set of bunkers, a church, or buildings, something you can dig in and garrison and get your defences up. On the original testing there were open fields to defend, which killed the gameplay as everybody just went prone in the bushes along the outside of the fields, and it just turned into random pot shots. so this really will add a lot more to the gameplay. We don't really need to talk about the mud. Best in any tactical shooter, easily I feel, it looks believable and you can see where vehicles have been driven and where infantry have been running down these hedgerows, it just adds a lot to the game and to the maps. And they have baby faces, don't like that. Many of the open fields will now have different crop types, as they did in the actual time period. And again, this is just more attention to detail, making some of these the most authentic World War II maps ever created. Oh, you're a little bit biased there. Well. You may say that, but I have probably played nearly every World War II tactical shooter out on the market, both coming and now, and this game, honestly, trumps us all of them. There are still many open sightlines on this map, great places for the MG42 gunners to block off and infantry to be caught out in the open. Tanks will also be fantastic on this map, imagine getting in position when you hear the rumble of a tank behind you. The ground rumbles. It then crushes through the hedgerow and literally, literally, all hell let loose will begin. Sandbags, tank traps, mines, all these elements are going to be amazing on this map and they will and can change the game either for your side, for the win or for the loss. So today was just a small update but I do hope you're as excited about hell let loose as I am and when the next testing phase goes live and if the devs allow us to show you the footage, you will find it here on the channel as soon as we're allowed to post it. A big massive thank you to all the new subscribers I've got recently over the last two or three months. We've gone from 300 up to 1400 subs in three months, which is incredible. Thank you all ever so much. I would be kind of interested to know whether you just want me to cover games that are not actually coming out yet such as beta testing, whether you want to see just some actual gameplay, or you want me to do a little bit more of the kind of videos I was doing in Insurgency, a little bit of a hints and tips and things that I've learned from playing the game. Either way, very much appreciated. It's time for me to get boots back on the ground. I shall see you in the next video coming real soon, and Box of Demons. Bye bye.
Oh, can you? Just I went on the site and there's all elevations and everything already in. Well, Jim's left armor. 